In the fourth chapter of First Chronicles, in a long list of names, a man by the name of Jabez is given special mention. You see, Jabez stood out among his peers because he dared to ask God to be with him, to bless him, and to enlarge his territory. And God answered that prayer. I believe God also wants to expand and enlarge the territory of Cross Point Church. As I look across these seven acres, by faith, I don't see just a vacant land. I see far more than a parcel of ground that will need to be mowed. I see potential. I see a future home for us and for those who will follow after us. I see a place of legacy. Can you dream with me for a moment? Can you imagine what could be done with seven acres? A large outdoor pavilion here where we could host the Easter extravaganza and the big block party and other community and church events. Can you imagine a softball diamond or soccer field? Can you imagine a playground for the children? In the future, can you imagine a larger sanctuary that can be used as a gymnasium or multi-purpose area? Can you imagine how this area will allow the expansion of all of our ministries? All of these are great things to dream, but for dreams to be brought into reality, it requires commitment and sacrifice. The potential to grow God's kingdom and to positively influence this community through this property are astounding. What sacrifice are you willing to make to see the dream become a reality? What legacy do you want to leave for your children, your grandchildren, and even your great-grandchildren? I believe that God wants us to dream bigger than we have ever dreamed. He wants to use us in a greater way to bring in the harvest. He has opened the door of opportunity. Will we walk through it by faith and possess the land? God, give us a bold, passionate, zealous, unquenchable thirst to accomplish your mission. Make us ambitious for opportunities to expand your kingdom and enlarge your territory. In Jesus' name, amen.